welcome uh, Pierre Leiber, the, the, director, the department's director, who is here to tell us about UPAS. Good morning, Pierre, and welcome back to Good Morning SKM. Good morning. Uh, pleasure indeed. Why was it essential for uh, the Department of Youth to have this month long celebration of the youth? The younger people and basically passing the button and um, recognizing the talents the contributions, the potential of our young people across, I mean, a, a whole range of spheres. Um, this year, during this month, we celebrate the chefs, the, the singers, the, the athletes, the scholars, the young people that are well-rounded across a number of different activities, the differently abled. And it's just an opportunity to shine a spotlight collectively for the country on our young people and to encourage them to shine more. All right, so it's a very interesting theme this year, taking charge of our future, creative, focused, and energized. Yes. What does that mean? I think exactly that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, recognizing that, well, young people um, taking this opportunity to really consider, I mean, the future is in their hands. Um, I almost said our hands. Yes, um, yes well, correct. Youth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's recognizing that young people um, should and are taking charge of their own future and setting uh, their own goals, the direction for their lives, and using their creativity and, and energy in a focused way to realize the their dreams, their aspirations and that benefits them as individuals, their families, communities, and the country as a whole. So that's the idea, to, to draw focus on that and to encourage it. Young people face so many challenges. How can we as a society and the elders, because all of you have age of the past, but we're still young, yes, yes, yes. How do we help them to be better individuals or how do we steer them in the directions? Because as you would have rightfully said, they are, they are the tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Starts by listening, um, by recognizing that they're individuals in their own right. They have their own um, dreams, their own aspirations, their own perspectives, their own unique experience. Um, while we as adults have I mean, years, decades worth of experience, none of us would have experienced um, COVID at 12 or the Wi-Fi, our internet, uh, new technologies, new social media at um, nine or 14, well, at least I can speak for us. So they basically live in a very different world and it's important for us to engage with them one-on-one, -on -one, um, not judgmental, to understand their perspective and yeah, an opportunity for us to share ours as well in our experience and we, we are able to learn from them as well as guide them um, using their aspirations and our experience to help me chart a path together because that's the only way that we're going to be able to to achieve and enjoy the future that we all want. Yes, indeed, indeed. All right, so let's focus for a minute on the activities that commemorate Youth Month. Can you tell us? The focus is youth. No, no, not celebrating what the focus youth. is. What are the activities? I want to yeah. focus on the activities. Uh, hence my answer. <laughs> the, the focus is youth. And young people are not, um, they're not homogenous. Um, they come from, they come in from different backgrounds, different experiences, different interests. And we try and tap into different activities that um, diverse groups are interested in. Hence, the activities are different. We started off with church um, at the Antioch um, Baptist. And um, the very next activity was a bike ride around the island. So those of us who felt youthful um, and the youth. You were self included? To, yeah, I, I didn't ride this time around, you know. Hopefully next year. Okay. But um, yeah, it was a challenging experience, a fun one though, and the young people, young and old actually showed up and turned out and challenged themselves to that. Um, so you have a group of young persons with that interest, as well as a group of young persons who you know, wanted to try it, um, that aspect. We 
this weekend I might be all over the place because unless I follow the program. That's fine. Um, we also engage the differently abled uh, youth with disabilities at um, a fun day activity on the 4th and this was in partnership with the Ministry of Education, Cotton Thomas Comprehensive, the Department of Social Services. Um, we had support from um, TAPS Water Caribbean who provided um, water and it was a fun activity the minister was there and they did a lot of um, fun activities games and they enjoy themselves at bouncing castle um, you know activities that i mean generally they're not necessarily um, exposed to so we give them that opportunity uh, the second activity with this group of young persons was at the dolphin discovery and we want to express our appreciation to them for accommodating the young people and that experience it was, would have been a life-changing one. And we intend to continue um, this relationship to expose young persons to these sort of experiences. We've had the high school chef competition last year, yesterday. This is within the various high schools and the young persons compete for the opportunity to represent them, their schools at the chef competition, which would be held on the 23rd. Um, back a bit, we had the Minister's Youth Forum just Tuesday, and this was an opportunity for the young people from across St. Kitts and Nevis, different high schools, um, the tertiary institutions, young entrepreneurs, unattached individuals, persons from Nevis as well, who are the, the various youth organizations to have an open and candid conversation with the Minister of Youth on matters of importance to them and to help inform the way forward for youth development in the future and vice versa. And we had a number of other ministers, including the Prime Minister, that popped in and took the opportunity to interact with the young people. We had um, youth service days, where a number of groups were out um, offering service to the, the communities in different ways. And that comes up again this weekend, so we encourage the groups to go out and offer your service. If you see them doing random things, picking up a uh, litter here and there, painting here and there, you know, encourage them and support them. We also have the first aid and, and CPR certification training. We do two every year. Uh, we've done that for the last um, few years for groups engage with young people I think it's important for us to be able to respond to any um, incident as opposed to waiting for first responders to come so we encourage groups once you engage with young people to be to have at least two persons um, cpr and first aid certified and that's a service that we offer in partnership with the red cross we have 25 most remarkable teens coming up um, youth service um, reception and awards where we recognize and say thanks to our partners throughout the, the year who made this, this year of activities um, possible. Pretty sure I'm missing a few supporting the Skaniper um, Youth Parliament um, on the 25th. And we've done a number of um, cleanups. I think the next one is on the 27th at Mage at Cockleshell Bay. So persons who are interested, we invite you to come out and be a part of that. So were there any new activities added to the calendar this year? New? Not necessarily. Each of them we would have done before. And, you know, persons expect to, you know, be a part of these activities every year. No, mm -hmm. um, no last two years we didn't have um, some activities and we took a, a licking. You know, young people, you know, they want to see their activities come off. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah, and one that we unfortunately had to put off for this year is the high school choir festival. Um, so hopefully next year we're able to execute that and we do encourage persons to continue to support the high school choirs. Uh, it's a good opportunity for young talent to be developed and um, celebrated and we look forward to executing that next year. And we also have the art um, challenge and exhibition where we encourage the, the visually arts those with um, visual arts skills to create um, works of art, and we we publish them. I might this remember is, a few more. Yeah. Yeah. So you see how it's it's yeah, diverse and it's point. all yeah. over yeah. too. Yeah. Okay. I need to start over. So you see, we started with the babies. Now we're with the babies. I was yeah. I was gonna say you have an enviable position because it's like witness you speak about this when you are talking about your work. It's quite rewarding, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, I wouldn't I'd say don't be envious. I'm pretty sure if you look carefully, you'd see... We can't see, quick, can't see them. All, all we're seeing is all black. Oh, 
Oh no! If, yeah. you, if, if you have those, they're in there. Perfect. They're in there. <laughs> I was gonna say you found the fountain of youth. No exactly. pun intended. Working with you well, as you young. Know, they yeah. do keep you youthful, and I mean, yes, they keep you on your toes, and and they're also inspiring, to be honest. The youth that are involved in the youth are they just from the youth camp or? Are you Oh, no. no. Yeah, we we invite, we encourage and involve young people from across St. Kitts and Nevis. Um, so it's not just youth camp. In fact, youth camp um, caters to young people um, ages 8 through 16 as campers and 18 and above and, and seasoned youth as leaders, as you would know. Seasoned um, youth. Okay. Seasoned youth. <laughs> Seasoned. Well, well seasoned. <laughs> <laughs> Thoroughly marinated and everything. But, I like where um, this is going. Keep going. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, so, right, I mean, uh, as, as diverse as there are young people across St. Kitts and Nevis, we, we try our best to facilitate their involvement and their celebration during Youth Month, as we tried during the, the 12 years, 11 months that um, preceded. All right, so for people who are interested in finding out or you know, participating in any of the activities, how can they contact the department? They could contact the department on our Facebook page, St. Kitts Department of Youth Empowerment. Um, and I said, um, Instagram and so is, yeah, we, we, we're working on developing those. We also have our email at youth at gov.kn, youth at gov.kn. You could call the office at 467-1393 or the cell phone at 662-6054. And, or you could stop in at the office physically at the top floor of the cable building. we are right there as soon as you get to the top of the floor, the first door on the left. Keeps you young climbing those steps, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the oh, yeah. uh, several times a day. There yeah. you go. There you go. That, that's, a, that's an awesome workout. Yeah. Okay, yeah, thank you so much for all the work that you do. That you do and mm -hmm. continue to do with the youth. Thank you. As uh, I said before, they are the future, so we have to nurture them. And we have to do our best to keep them on the straight and narrow. Yes, we do. We all do. And it's, it's a pleasure working with young people. I consider it an honor.